We are a few hundred yards from Syrian territory and from where Israel is concerned, Iranian forces and our proxy groups could launch an attack targeting Israel. The U.S. Embassy here in Israel today cautioned its employees not to enter the Golan Heights. That's from where I'm talking right now. I can tell you that last night was a very tense night. Shortly after the president's speech, the Israeli military went on high alert here. At this hour, we are told that the residents have been informed to go about their lives as normal. But uh, in the past 24 hours, we saw that uh, bomb shelters were opened up, reservists were called to duty, and a number of uh, missile defense systems were moved into to the area. Overnight, Syria says Israeli fighter jets attacked a military base just south of Damascus. We're told at this hour, according to one report, as many as 15 people could be dead, eight of them Iranians. We cannot confirm that independently. Israel is not commenting. This is an area, though, where Israel believes Iranian forces have been operating. Israel's Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, a longtime and outspoken critic of the Iranian nuclear deal, says President Trump made the right decision. Israel thanks President Trump for his courageous leadership, his commitment to confront the terrorist regime in Tehran, and his commitment to ensure that Iran never gets nuclear weapons. Not today, not in a decade, not ever. And in Tehran, as you would expect, a very different reaction. Lawmakers of that country's parliament shouted a familiar refrain, death to America. They also burned paper American flags. But that country's president, Rouhani, at least for now, says that the Islamic Republic remains committed to the pact as it exists with the five other countries. France, the UK, and Germany, meanwhile, saying also they're disappointed with the president's decision, but they are also going to try and stick to the agreement. That's the latest from the Golan Heights. Back to you. All right, David Lee Miller reporting live.